For years, for decades, we've been criticizing them for using protectionism, for putting up tariffs to prevent our exports from entering their country, on restricting the exports of critical minerals, uh, and on engaging in widespread industrial policy. Um, and now we have engaged in many of the same practices. We have tariffs on Chinese exports to the United States. We're screening their investment into the United States, and investment now is being proposed to be screened out of the United States into China. And of course, we have export controls on critical technologies. I think for years we were trying to uh, warn the Chinese that if they didn't adopt more progressive, reform oriented economic policies, it would undermine the US China economic relationship. People would lose faith in it, and that you'd see a reaction here in the United States. And that's exactly what's happened. And you've seen over the last several years people becoming impatient with the, the nature of the relationship and insisting on these kinds of new policies to, to ensure that we are maintaining our national security and our competitiveness, even as we develop a broader, more benign economic relationship. And given that uh, the U.S. has pursued some of those policies that seem a little bit more uh, clearly competitive and protectionist, as you said, um, how do you, does the Commerce Secretary Raimondo go over there and reassure China that, in fact, our objective is not to disadvantage China, to keep it down on the world stage? Well, I think she has said that, in fact, a growing China is in our interest. China accounted for something like half to two-thirds of global growth last year. So it's not in our interest uh, for China to be on its back. But that does not mean that we need to enable it to compete with us on the most critical technologies or give it the tools to build its military and its intelligence capabilities at our expense. And so I think it's that line that she is walking. And and frankly, I think the fact that the, the U.S. has adopted some of these policies after for years trying to get China to back away from them just demonstrates to them how serious we take the matter and that if we can't get them to change their policies, we're not going to stand by on the sidelines. We're going to take action ourselves. And Ambassador Proman, going back to that point about the U.S. becoming more protectionist, more like China rather than China becoming more like the U.S., do you think that that's bad policy or do you think that the U.S. policy right now is at the right level, and what sort of changes would you advise the Biden administration if you were there in terms of their policy right now or the communication? I think you know, the administration has talked about building a high fence around a small yard, meaning that most trade and investment can go on between the two countries, but there will be some critical technologies that will be prevented from being exported and critical sectors where investment will be restricted. I think that as long as that yard remains small and focused on the critical national security technologies, I think we're on very firm ground. The risk always is that once you've created this process for screening outward investment, it doesn't become a broadened tool just to prevent companies from investing in other sectors where there might be pressures back here at home. And I think that's what Secretary Armando needs to assure them. I think in all these cases, it, it, this is just a matter of trade-offs. You know, over the last several years, we've seen companies, for, for very good reasons, look at their supply chains, risk manage, decide to diversify, not rely just on China as a manufacturing foundation, move to other countries, move some back to the U.S., move some closer. That is all good policy. And I think the question is, it may also be more expensive. It may contribute to inflation. We just have to be frank about what the trade-offs are and then ensure that our policymakers are making an informed and balanced decision.